So, you are given this black diagram and you are asked to simplify it and to find the transfer function. I will start moving this fee forward from here to here. So I can have a loop that I can simplify knowing that if you have Uh, this can be um, simplified to this so I'll start Moving this forward. Okay. To be able to do this, you have to understand that if you had Let's do it right here. Here, we were going to receive G, and here we were going, we were going to receive H. And the sum of both would have been Now that I have moved this forward, here I will have G, but here I will have G times G1, so the output would be G H1 plus G. And you notice it's not the same, so I have to divide here by G. and divide here by G so and I could have the same output as on top okay now have it done done if you can notice I could solve here because I have this this solves or results in this so I will have an equivalent G one because it's minus here I'm gonna have a positive here G times H two still have the same input 
now. H1 over G. If I have, say, A, say I have an X here. I'll be seeing here I'll be seeing here X but here I'll be seeing X times A the output will be X A plus X which is the same as X times A plus 1 so I could simplify that into A plus one have the same input and I will have the same output here well I could do the same thing right here and I will have as a result one plus h1 over g is equal to the output and as you may already guess uh, let me well yes let me simplify it I'm going to find a common denominator here, which is going to be G. So I'm going to have G plus H1. And this G is going to cancel out. So I'm left with a branch. of a simplified system now the transfer function will be equal There you go.